So in this video, I'll be discussing about how to download the different geographical areas of any given country. I'm considering my own country, which is India. I'm going to download the geographical boundaries and download some of the other information related to my country. And I'll use all those information in GIS and how to process the information in the GIS. Okay. So you can go to this uh, website called as Diva GIS. Uh, I am going to download the data from this uh, website itself. So now let us go to the country whichever you choose. Like you can choose any country that you want, but I am going to choose for my own country which is India. So in this, I will select the subject. Like if you want to know what is the administrative areas of that country, you can click for administrative area and click OK and then. As you can see, if there is a download option over here. You click download and then the data will get downloaded in a zip file. As you can see in the screen also, I have already downloaded all of them. Okay. Now, I have shown you how to download the administrative area. Similarly, you can download the inland waters, road, rail networks, elevation data, land cover data, population and all of these data which are already available in this uh, website. Okay. Now, I have downloaded few of the of the data which are useful for me now for example i download administrative areas roads railways elevation land cover and population okay now it is up for you uh, you with respect to your work you can download the information that you want okay i have selected this website you can similarly find out in google different websites are there to download the data related to any country but i have chosen this one okay now let us do, go to QGIS. So in the QGIS, what I'll do is I'll uh, bring all those uh, data which I have downloaded. Okay. So to do that, what you can do is uh, first we need to uh, remove the zip file. Okay. And for example, I'll show you this. So these are the shape files. Okay which I have downloaded. Usually when you download, you will get it in a zip file and you go here and extract in whichever folder you want. Once you extract it, then you can see uh, the extracted files will come out, come in the folder. Okay. Now to either you can load those data on your canvas from this browse or you can also download it. For, uh, also you can uh, load them from this add vector layer. Okay. I'll I'll show you in both the methods. First of all, you know in the browser it is quite easy as compared to going with here. In browser, as you can see, this is the browser menu. In the browser menu, I have saved it in QGIS folder. Okay, in QGIS, I have classroom. In classroom, I have shape file. Okay, in shape file, you can see there are a number of shape files. You can you can just uh, select this, drag and drop. As you can see, it get loaded. Okay, now. I'll show you how to load it through add vector layer okay so this is one of the method either from the browse menu itself you can select it and drag and drop in the canvas either or else you can be very specific in selecting your uh, vector layer so for that you can select here now you can see this window opens I'll go to the I'll go to the play uh, folder where I have saved my data okay so in classroom I saved it in a shape file in shape file usually it will look like this okay so it will be confusing for you to choose which is your shape file okay so to avoid that what I'll do is I'll go to all files in all files we'll go for ESRI shape files select this then you can see you will find only shape files you will not see the subordinate uh, or the additional files which are generated okay so now in this I'll choose all these admin 01, admin 1, admin 2, admin 3. Okay. We'll see what all those are. And then I'll also select railways and roads. Okay. Open it up, add them, and you can see they are loaded. Okay. How many layers I added? I had added six layers of vector. Okay, these are the six layers. Now we'll see what are these layers are comprising. Okay. I'll keep on unchecking one by one so that we'll identify what are those. Okay. So let's uncheck this. If I uncheck this, what is this? This map is representing me the states of the India. Okay. So earlier, this was representing the boundary of India. Now if I remove this, 
I can see this India admin one. So India admin one is nothing but a shape file which is consisting of the boundaries of the states. Okay. Now let us uncheck this also. If I uncheck this, I'll get to know admin two. Okay. Now similarly, if I uncheck this again, I'll see this one. Okay. There are three levels of admin. So to know what is admin two, we'll right click here. It is the district, but still I want to show you whether it is district or not. So you'll go to open attribute table. When you go to open attribute table, you can see over here in the table, you will find out the details. Okay. Now in the details, you could see this is basically this data is basically for district. Okay. So these are all districts. So now I'll uncheck this. So I'll go to another uh, set of shape file that I have, and this admin three. So what is this admin three? This is basically called blocks or taluks, also we call it as, right? So admin zero one is representing the shape file of entire country. I'll go back again. So admin zero one is representing the whole India, and uh, admin one is represents of the country of India, and then admin two is representing all the districts in the uh, country. Admin three is representing all the taluks. So these are the administrative boundaries of India. Which you can uh, see by yourself. Okay, so you can easily download it from that website called Diva GIS. So you download it there, and then you can load it in your yeah. right. So now I would like to show you the rail network and road network. Okay, so to do that, what I'll do is I'll basically first these lines are not visible, so I'll just try to change them. Okay. We'll go to properties. So that I just want to make it more visual. So that's why um, I'll select a little lighter one. If it is light, it will be visible because our background is dark. Okay. So you can see. Right. So these are the rail networks. Okay, you can right click again go to open attribute table in that you could see the details of it so it's not quite uh, compelling uh, like for example they have not uh, explained the rail networks connecting from which place to which place so we do not know the actual uh, name of it but in, in uh, later you can go to uh, in your web in quick map services you can load the uh the, the any of the detail uh, map so in the background you can see where it is getting connected and what is that really to be called as okay, you can you can do it by yourself but i'm just basically showing you these are the major rail networks that are available in india okay now i'll show you the road networks so i'll uncheck this so by unchecking this i have removed the rails and now i can see the roads okay basically these might be only state highways and national highways I don't know major district roads are represented in this or not, but you need to go in detail to know whether these roads are representing all the roads that are existing. Okay, right. so this is how we can uh, get the information of our administrative boundaries, and we can get the information related to rails and roads. Okay, now the question is, uh, how can I extract the details related to my own region? Like for example, what I'll do here is, I'll try to extract the information related to my own state okay so for that i'll do what i'll do is let's uncheck all of this rails and roads i'll go to admin zero okay so i'll uncheck the admin zero also so that i will see where my uh, state is okay for example this is my state so i'll okay now, now for example this is the select button you click here and you go on select on the state whichever you want but right now i am clicking on the state but it is not visible so to click it what i should do is i should go to admin 1 okay select here first in the layers panel so once you select in the layers panel now you go and click see now the state which you want to choose has been selected okay now again go to admin indian admin uh, you go to the right click and go to export in export you save feature as you can do it okay so you have to save feature so you select a folder where you want to save like for example i want to save in classroom and make a new folder i'll write it as 
Karnataka details. So double click and I will call this as KR underscore uh, state. I want to save it by that name. Okay. Now in this what I will do is I will only select save only selected feature. Okay. So let the reference coordinate system be same. Click OK. Then you can see the state is created. Okay. I will uncheck all of this so that you can only see the state. Okay. Like this you can extract the state from the, from, from the entire uh, set of uh, states. Okay, I have removed one of the vectors. Okay. Now similarly, you can go for uh, like for example, I'll uncheck this uh, uh, in Indian admin two. Admin one was representing uh, the state. I'll go to admin two now. By going to admin two, I can extract all the all the information related to the districts within the Karnataka states. Right now, these are entirely districts, but I want to know what is the what are the districts within the. Uh, Karnataka. So to do to do that, I can do in two ways. As either I can again go back and click individual. Like for example, I have to select here and individually click all the districts within the uh, within the boundaries of Karnataka state, and then I can save them. But it is quite a tedious process. In order to just make it more simpler, what I'll do is I'll go to state and I'll go to Indian admin two. Okay, I'll I'll click them. And check them on okay now i'll go to vector so in vector we'll go for geo processing tool in geo processing tool we'll go for clip okay select clip and in this what i'll do is i'll give admin 2 as my input layer okay and i'll give overlay as karnataka state okay i if you just click here run there is a file that get gen uh, there is a layer that get generated in the layers okay here okay but i would like to save it with some name I'll call this as save to file now in the QGIS classroom Karnataka details. So here I will call it as Karnataka underscore DIS. DIS is representing district save. Now if I click run, uh, close. Now what I'll do is I'll just uncheck this Indian admin too, okay? And I'll also uncheck the Karnataka state. Now you can see the districts within the Karnataka boundary has been displayed here. Okay, this is the clipped file. You can file. You, I have also saved this file. Okay, I'll go to the place where I saved the file. Okay, now you can see here. This is QGIS folder, classroom, Karnataka details. In that I have stored Karnataka districts. So you can like this you can even uh, you can you can find out the districts within the state also okay now this is done now similarly uh, if you want to know what all datas that you have within the boundary of the state what i'll do is i'll go here clip uh, open attribute table in the open attribute table you can see this name one represents india name two represents karnataka name three represents the districts okay now i want to go to my state my my place okay i'll just select here and close it you can see my district has been displayed here okay again if i want to extract only my district what i'll do is i'll go to clipped i'll call uh, save okay sorry export in export i'll save feature in save feature i'll give then save it uh, save only selected feature okay you can see i have again created the district within my karnataka state like this you can you can operate with all the administrative blocks also and you can create your own geograph uh, you can uh, you can derive your own geographical boundaries from the existing data thank you